there's just no excuse for this. Let's begin. Now it seems certain government departments or organisations have at least at some point been milking the whole work from home situation more than a cow who's just been given birth. So maybe, just maybe, if someone either was paying a bit more attention to their job rather than presumably watching Netflix or maybe some sort of automatic checks were put in place, then surely something like this probably wouldn't have actually happened. In the first place it is, because as the Sun reports, a man has received a V5C form or logbook from the DVLA, but there's just one problem. It appears they've decided to change his name to something, let's say, quite or actually completely racist. Which, to be honest, there's just really no excuse for it. And in fact, nowadays, I'm guessing he'll probably be entitled to a house or something in compensation too. But either way, receiving something like that through the post, especially from official bodies such as the DVLA, couldn't actually have been very nice for him. Um, sir, I think I've just made a typo. The article also says that Marvin Greaves' surname was printed as Black, N-word, and the P-word on a logbook which was sent through the post last Wednesday. The gym owner who doesn't actually have a driving license or own a vehicle believes the document is linked to a car that has been stolen and registered under his name. He says, when I read it, I was traumatized. It's got to be someone who knows me, who knows my address, and I was very stressed and depressed over it. A spokesperson from the DVLA said, these malicious and fraudulent applications were made by as an yet unknown third party, and we have removed this information from our records. Hopefully some sort of systems will now be put in place to at least flag up any possible dodgy names for the DVLA to confirm with people in future, because Obviously, no one should receive anything racist to their skin colour through the post, and that applies to all skin colours, including my own. In fact, if anything, it reminds me of when in this video, where a council denied their residents something they really wanted, through my opinion, a really nasty and insulting reason. Anyway, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.